Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doken Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the Int Angel Golden Freezer. So we're going to take a look at Int Angel Golden Freezer and we're going to see how good he is after his Extreme Z Awakening. So he's got a pretty interesting uh, easy A. I think he's going to be probably go down as an interesting unit for me. I don't think he's bad, but I do think because of the way the current hard events are set up, he's a little bit lackluster for what a lot of people want him to do. Um, if you look at him, you've got Resurrected Warriors, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense of 170%. Uh, he's got 120% in type lead. He greatly raises defense for one turn on the super attack and greatly lowers enemy defense. He has attack of 250% and defense of 150%. All enemies have reduction of 15% attack, with an additional attack reduction of 7% for superclass enemies and allies. He has an additional attack and defense of 100% when facing a superclass enemy, and he has attacks effective against all types when there is another Reps of Universe 7 category ally attacking in the same turn. His link skills are Prodigies, Universe's Most Malevolent, Revival, Strong Scan in Space, Brutal Beatdown, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. And he is on the Resurrected Warriors, Universal Survival Saga, Full Power, Reps of Universe 7, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Otherworld Warriors, Gifted Warriors, Time Limit, Master Devolution, and Sworn Enemies Teams. In terms of his link set and his overall ability, he does have a couple really nice partners uh, in the form of the Physical, Angel Freezer, who's a fantastic unit, the transforming physical Angel Freezer, who I think is a really, really top tier unit. And also, quite frankly, uh, he is still a pretty solid unit when you look at him link-wise. Uh, link-wise, he's you know, incredibly strong with some really powerful links and some not so powerful links. Biggest issue with this guy is, you know, right, he does do want to fully access his power with a tournament of reps of Universe 7 category ally, which kind of means that basically you want to run him with distinctly the physical freezer. It's not that the physical freezer is bad in any sense of the form, uh, it's just that you either have him and then they, you have a very fun pairing to run, or you don't, and that's basically it. So here we're facing an extreme enemy. This is so that we can see how he does without uh, his superclass boost. You can see immediately 175k, not the highest level of defense. And that 175k is going to move to around 250k. And this is actually where people are kind of talking about him. So the big issue is, at the end of the day, as a unit, he has a very low ceiling against extreme class enemies for an easy aid unit. Some of these bad, 175k is pretty good, two dupes. Uh, he also obviously ra greatly raises his defense, so you know, you can look at obviously having him greatly raise that defense because of his attacks effective against all types. If you do have a Reps of Universe 7 unit there, then yes, you can indeed uh, improve that damage as well. Uh, you can make that damage, for example, you know, uh, close to doubling it because quite frankly you'll be 1.5 effective you can build in full additional and then his defense looks good but there's a lot of hoops to get through firstly you have to have the physical freezer final form angel although a fantastic unit just a unit not a lot of people are going to have and then you're going to need to obviously fully build freezer into additional now again really not too bad but it is just something that's quite apparent i think when you look at them as units now with that being said, uh, I think Frieza is still great. There is a lot of stuff to like about Frieza, at least for me personally. You know, he does do some pretty gnarly damage, uh, which I think is great. He does debuff the enemy, which is also going to be really helpful for events like uh, ESBR and SBR. And yeah, just in general, he is still a pretty good solid unit. I just think considering most of the end game currently is fought against extreme enemies it's a very large handicap to place on a unit uh, in that sense what i would have ideally liked is maybe for them to compensate for that a little bit uh, maybe give them a support mechanism for even just universal survival saga or universe 7 maybe for the resurrected warriors category itself which is still predominantly very weak 
even with units like Metal Kula being added. So yeah, just ideally I think you could have made those changes uh, and had a little bit of a better time. But with that being said, of course, you know, you can just do uh, whatever you really want, to cut a long story short. But yeah, uh, for me, I personally, yeah, I, I find that he's decent. I just think that because most of the game is against extreme class units in the end game, that he's unfortunately a little bit tagged behind when you look at his raw performance. Now against super class enemies, he looks really solid. Uh, so against super class enemies, this guy can look really crazy and I think that's where he starts to shine it's just unfortunate that there's not a lot of content for you to kind of pull him into where you're facing superclass enemies that you're going to really want to use him I mean the hardest is probably some of the fighting spirit events but those even have bonuses so he's not going to look too great there but you can immediately see 224,000 defenses immediately already much higher than before uh, and he has no support on this rotation uh, no good links on this rotation so immediately he's higher than he even was with support against an extreme enemy which just shows the big boost uh, and is hugely hugely important uh, obviously I think beyond that uh, you know that apparent like very obvious gimmick in his passive I think you know there is definitely still some sense of like okay uh, yeah, we have a little bit of a problem in that sense, you know, like he's great in this situation, but it's just that there's not enough kind of, yeah, I want to say units or events where you're facing super class units. And I think that's where he's a little bit lackluster. Here, yeah, obviously, we have a great situation, much better links this time, five links active, which is pretty good. And yeah, we're already looking really, really solid. Um, damage goes up, immediately super high, got a lot more active links. When you get his links active, they are decent, by the way. Uh, Universe most malevolent, very strong attack link. Revival, pretty strong in terms of attack and defense, a little bit of a heal. Uh, strongest clan in space is good that he has that. Torn of Power is a very strong one, although he's only going to get that with the physical freezer. Uh, but still decent, Brittle Beatdown, a little bit harder to get fierce battle, pretty strong and Prodigy is pretty decent. He's not going to the greatest link set, but he can still function on the Wicked Bloodlines team, even if you don't have like the best links for everything else, because he still has Universe's most malevolent, strongest clan in space. Brittle Beatdown is fairly common on a Wicked Bloodlines team, Prodigies is also floating around there. So it's only really Torment the Power, which is difficult, because to get that, I would suggest only really running him uh, alongside the Physical Angel Freezer. And then Revival is more a Resurrected Warriors team, which, you know, is just something to obviously factor him, him in on. So, yeah, but overall, pretty solid stuff, I would say. Um, he's going to be good on most teams that he's going to be on, but ideally, if you want the best out of him, you pair him with the Physical Freezer. If you've got physical freezer, uh, then I think pairing him with him, building him full additional, you're going to see a lot better a unit than you know, possibly I will. Because when you build him that full additional, he has the chance at the second super. That second super is going to really elevate that defense. It's going to make him go from like, okay, I have you know, X amount of defense, but now I have X greater uh, amount of defense because that second super is really going to raise it like for example if he goes from 170 to around 250 that second super really boosts him to around the 320 mark which is really good similarly if he's facing super class enemy it goes to around 300 and then closer to the 400 which is much better obviously i mean it makes sense that greatly raising defense you know it is super important but yeah obviously the predominant factors in the link set we kind of went through but Universe most malevolent, strongest clan in space, super duper crucial. Uh, Torn of the power, also fairly strong link, just one you're not going to get, you know, super commonly. Uh, fierce battle, obviously great, common link all over the place. Revival, very strong. Riddle beat down, decent, and then Prodigy is also decent. Uh, link leveling wise, you get the most out of Torn of the power, which is a little bit of a shame. And you get a decent amount out of Revival. The rest are just kind of like flat 5% increases, which is okay most 
people will run him on Wicked Bloodlines, Resurrected Warriors, Otherworld Warriors, or on Reps of Universe 7 if they have the physical freezer. I think that'll be where you're going to see him shine, uh, but I think Wicked Bloodlines is probably where you're going to see him the most. Transformation boost, also decent. Rares Warriors, obviously, being his category, is a very decent one. And he did get quite a few decent additions here, you know, Metal Cooler, etc. So, yeah, some decent stuff overall, but obviously just not anything too wild uh, in terms of, you know, like, the team. I think Resurrected Warriors still needs a couple more buffs uh, to really kind of ball out and be something amazing but yeah uh, for the most part very strong link set um, when you can get the right combination of units but as an accessible link set probably okay uh, you know things like universe most malevolent and strongest clan in space kind of really save his link set whereas you know I think without that he would be a bit weak revival very spread out from like torment of power not a lot of cross synergy between those so yeah just generally stuff you do need to be aware of but yeah for the most part you know okay like as you can see you could link him up with a couple of vegetas get a couple of attack links but yeah nothing too crazy that's it for me let me know your thoughts and i'll see you guys in the next one bye